Hey guys, James with TFB TV here in Oxnard, California for the opening of 5.11's 100th store. We're gonna meet my buddy, Jeremy Stafford from Guns and Ammo, LAPD cop. The guy really knows what he's talking about. We're gonna walk through. He's gonna give me some advice on clothes to wear for EDC and for concealing a handgun. Let's do it. Jeremy, good to see you as good usual. To see ya. Good to see you. Jeremy, I've got the camera with me. Tell everybody about who you are, what you do. Uh, I'm Other Jeremy than be a good friend of mine. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Stafford. I'm a uh, Southern California police supervisor, and I'm also the handgun editor for Guns and Ammo magazine. And of course, Jeremy, like I said, good friend of mine, and this guy knows his stuff. One of the best handgun shooters I know. Thank you. So we're gonna do a little walkthrough, right? You're gonna help me. You're gonna. Through. You're gonna give I'm me. Gonna, you're gonna give me fashion, fashion advice. advice. That's what I'm gonna do. Is what's gonna happen here, allegedly. Um, so. Well, I noticed you're wearing long pants too, and that's that I mean, what, weird. What, what's my outfit right now? Is this a no go? Go ahead. Go no. ahead. Hit me up. No, that's a total go. This, this is, is a go. California. I, no, no, no. But I, I'm talking about we're we're now getting into the mindset, Jeremy. We are moving into the mindset of protecting myself. So. Am I, one, you got to make sure that you always have your mobility. And look at, do your second I'm mobile mobility. as shit. You yeah, are look at mobile. that. You're mobile. You're ready to go. Look at that. Um, where, where I notice people really kind of screw themselves when it comes to um, dressing for a, like an EDC type lifestyle is they screw themselves on shoes mm -hmm. and then they screw themselves on pants because mm -hmm. what they'll do with their pants is they'll either be too big or they'll be too small. Mm -hmm. And it, it limits their ability to move, it limits their ability to fight, and it limits their ability to access their gun. And with shoes, a lot of times, and I've been guilty of it before too, uh -huh. like after a long hot day on the range, I, I wanna throw some flip flops on. Mm -hmm. But if you're out and about, man, flip flops are a big time no go. Yeah, yeah. Even, in, even in a beach community like this, you'll never see me in flip flops if I'm out and about. Now, before we go in, it's, it's okay, because I know, I know we're buddies, but like if I showed up for day one as like an undercover cop, and uh, you just met me and you're looking at my outfit, what do, what do you think? The pants, not really rugged enough for a fight. You got uh -huh. the mobility, uh -huh. but it's, it's a little lightweight. You know what I mean? We would want something a little bit more robust. I got no belt loops. Uh, no either, belt yeah. loops. You want to be able to carry that. You want to be able to carry the gun. You want to, and you know, in, a, in an on-duty scenario, even undercover, you know, you're still accountable for handcuffs, mm -hmm. you know, for a uh, tourniquet. Those pants probably wouldn't cut it. Cuffs, mm -hmm. extra magazine, flashlight, knives, small radio, things. So it, it starts to weigh it down. And if you don't have the right pants and you don't have the right belt, it can not only screw up an operation, but it can make you really uncomfortable for the entire day. And there's nothing worse than being uncomfortable your entire day when you're walking around and you're adjusting your pants and you can't get comfortable in the, in the car, you know, because when you're working undercover, it's not like you have nice cars, right. right? Little shit, can I say shit box? <laughs> Little shit box. Uh, you're on TFB TV, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> and, Take uh, your shirt off yeah. and, then, and then say it, yeah. If you're out 10 hours a day and you're on a surveillance or you're following people or you're even just posted up on a place, mm. like, you know, illegal casinos are a huge deal here in Southern California. You're kidding me. Not kidding you. You're kidding me. So the guy's out, out behind the Jamba Juice, like throwing bones. No, like <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually, they'll find a strip mall and then they'll, you know, put like packing, packing paper on the uh -huh. windows. And then, and then they're then just running behind the storefront. Banks, banks of slot machines. Sure, it looks like a Pinkberry, but it's really, yep. uh, where is, I, I might need to help you guys with an investigation, like, you know, citizens. Well, we might be able to find one. Sure, yeah, 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 we'll, yeah. just let me know. I'll take and you then down the yeah, yeah. later on. <laughs> yeah, we'll go check it out. I'll, I'll introduce <laughs> you to him. Here's the thing, know. you got your work cut out for you because I'm gonna say what we're all thinking here, I'm a bit of a metro. You're not gonna catch me in like big baggy cargo pants right. and like a big baggy button. So this me is gonna be tricky. This me is gonna be tricky, but yeah, well. But you know what? EDC done right doesn't look like EDC done right. See, there it is, there's your quote. And on that, let us begin. All right, so here we go. 
Yeah, yeah it smells like a 511. It does smell Actually, like a 511. Actually, you know, it smells a little bit like is uh, maybe a, a casino for some reason. I don't know why that is. Let's go take a look at the belts because I'm telling you, a good mm. belt makes all the difference when it comes to carrying a bunch of crap around all day long. So the first thing you're looking for is rigidity. And the second thing you're looking for is adjustability. Mm -hmm. So like- a, Sounds a, oxymoronic. Right. But a lot of times you'll look at certain belts and you'll go, oh, okay. You know, I, I mean, it's, it's fairly rigid and it's, mm -hmm. it's adjustable, but do you want to wear that? James, James isn't wearing don't, this. Don't put me on the spot. These are my sponsors. I mean, well, are you trying no, to get me fired I'm, or what? I'm not talking about the brand. I'm talking about <laughs> this particular belt. Probably not. No, Probably you're not, not. going to wear this belt. And you know what? Neither am I, man. Yeah. Let's go onto the backside now. I mean, really, we're, well, that's what she said. And second, it's really hard to strike a balance, you know, between getting something that's going to be rigid enough, practical enough. It's a huge balance. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of really cool options now. And I want to talk about this particular one because you have the rigidity that'll work, and then you have an adjustable buck, buckle that will act, you know, and it I lets like you. That. I like that, but I mean, it, it also makes me, it makes me look like the guy that hands out the mints at a strip club with it, a buckle like it, that. It does, as, as good as belts like this are, and as, as much, as many of them as I have, you're limited. Right. I'm getting PTSD from this. This looks like the one where my yeah. dad would be like, go pick out, yeah, and then he would do, he would do, do the snap. Yeah, yeah. This thing. I mean, this is, too? yeah, yeah. The like that's when you knew you were about to get it. Yeah. And it's funny because my dad completely denies it now. Yeah. It's he last. tells my kids, I never laid a hand on him. It's the last I time I throw about. dog food in the pool, you know. <laughs> I would beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, right? Style, it's completely. Sure, I know, yeah, I know, but, but that's see, what we're trying just, to do. That's the point. I thought you'd like I know. a different kind no, no, of buckle. No, 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 like I said, no. see, I, I actually really like the Cobras, but they make that huge bulge. They, they do, the, and then you have to not offset Not the kind it. you want. No, because yeah. it's too high, it looks yeah, awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks totally unnatural. Yeah, like a catheter bag or something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the, te this is fun. It's like, it's like picking out like a good avocado at the Here store. Like, give it a squeeze. Here we go. Give it a smell. How is it? Try that one. This one? Yeah. I mean, 2XL, I, I think, no, I mean, come on, Jeremy. We'll, we'll, we'll get you the right God's spot. sake. <laughs> Look at this thing. I mean, you know, we're, oh, here we go. Is this, is this it? Yeah. Okay. Go. Medium. Medium. There that we should go. work. We're I set. might need a small, but, you know, we're good to go. Okay. He might need a small. I haven't um, needed you guys a small wanna... belt since I was 12. <laughs> Now, All right. So let like. Oh let, yeah, we've got the the wall I'm o gonna, pants. I, and I'm gonna have a little fun with 511. You have you worn any of their jeans or? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The Defender Flex jean and the Defender Flex pant are like, I, I have almost worn them out. Like I, I, a dozen pair. Yeah. Like I think the Defender Flex jean and the Defender Flex pant in skinny or slim or whatever they call the cut. I think it actually looks good and they, they work well. Yeah, so it does. so I'm, I'm a big fan and we got them right here. So yeah, I mean, we'll talk about that. That was actually just like the usual suspects where it's like I've never worn them before in my life. I just kind of saw the sign right there and it's like, <laughs> oh yes, the Defender Flex gene. That's a no for me, dog. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a no. hard no. A, ABR is okay, but I think it's if a little too tactical. No, yeah, so no. that's a no. 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 They scream gun. Okay. Scream gun. Same with the icon, gun. Gun. So many people dress like that still. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I can't tell you how often I'm out and about, and I live in a really quiet suburban little town, and I'll see guys wearing a 511 tuxedo. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I, I understand you're an off-duty police officer. I can tell by your haircut. <laughs> uniform pants should be worn in a uniform. That's it. Hiking pants should be worn when you're hiking, and then your regular everyday pants should be worn regular every day, but they need to be tailored, and that's what 511 has done right. We have things like on the Defender Flex jean and Defender Flex pants, we have reinforced gussets. We right. have uh, flexibility throughout the- you can uh, do the kicks. Yeah, you, you know, so do, you can yeah. do your spinning round kicks like Chuck <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. You can do that. Um, and Senior the other, citizen jaywalking, you can just give them, ah, one of those. That would work for, this for could somebody. Work. This could work for somebody. Especially like in, a, in an urban, like a professional setting mm -hmm. um, where, you, where you're putting, you're dressing that up with a polo and True. you're going to work. True. It, that's going to work for some people. Right, sure. And this um, is the Bravo pant. That's the Bravo pant. And then we've got the Edge Chino, kind of the same, same yeah, thing. Yeah, and, right? and I've, I've actually worn the Edge Chinos in regular Chino colors. Uh-huh. I'm not fashion forward enough to be wearing black chinos. 
I but, mean, dude, if you're a valet at like the Ritz, <laughs> yeah. this is going to be. Or perfect. if you're that creepy guy handing out mints. In the <laughs> yeah, bathroom. yeah, that's right. That's right. Before. I mean, that, that, uh, that is a service. That's that, a valuable service. That would let's, work. Let's not downplay it here. Look, carrying a gun, EDC is all about compromise, right? Sure. Because. If we knew we were getting into a gunfight, we, we probably wouldn't show up. Wouldn't and show if we up, did, if we had I'd to. be wearing that, like jammed up with magazines. Yeah, and, yeah. Let, let's so, just say what we're thinking here. It's like, I really like the deflex, and it's going to work for me. I'm yeah. going to feel more comfortable. We know it's capable. Exactly. So here we are at the Defender Flex. Are jeans okay to wear if I'm going to be an undercover cop? Or I, I lived in jeans, jeans and shorts. Okay, good stuff. You get, especially with this, you get a little bit of flex, so we're getting... That mobility that, we were talking about. Yeah, that mobility, it's huge. And, and just being able to be comfortable all day long. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I, I must have this exact same pair in the car, too. For those of us that are a little more uh, oh, wow, dad-like. Oh, my God. A little more dad-like. I do, me personally, I like those. Yeah. Oh, I'm here, here I come. I'm ready to mow the lawn. It's 6 in the morning. Now I got some white, new, I got my white New Balances. <laughs> and now... Because we do have gun shorts with us. That's right. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. They're a little long. Ooh, those are a lot long. But. I'm, dude, these, I'm not even sure I can wear these shorts on camera, but we'll just shoot it anyways. Right. And just, you know, we can always just not use it. <laughs> I don't know about these, man. Yes! Uh, I don't know. These are, uh, these are way better than I thought they were going to be. Think of the I flexibility. Mean, I'm, I'm actually, yeah, look at Can that. Can we get, yeah, got some, yeah, definitely. Got some mobility here. Definitely. You know? Somebody give me a, uh, like a Glock 17L you know, with these bad boys. Do right it here, huh? deep, deep, huh? deep. Huh? Look at that. Huh? Look at that. I'll put the actual shorts on now. That was just a, a fun little surprise for you guys. 30, no or what, 30, right? 30 or 32? 30, please. See, I don't know, man. With these, I think I'm sticking out like a sore penis. I don't know why that came to mind, but... <laughs> It's the right waist size. Have you Actually, it is. I, I was going to tell you that I, what are you, like downsizing so you can buy too much cake for the 511 store sometimes. <laughs> That's how it be. It, it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it really do. Shoes are important because a lot of times people don't match their, their shoes to uh, their abilities. Uh -huh. You know what, what I mean? What does that mean? Well, a lot of times, like, you'll, you'll have people, like, where um, they'll want to dress up, but they'll want to carry a gun, but their shoes aren't going to let them do the things that they need to do to be successful in a fight. Mm -hmm. Because most fights aren't going to involve your gun. Mm -hmm. They're going to involve a fight. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to like an everyday type shoe, uh, you and I both are big yeah. fans of the Norris. Yeah, this is my favorite. Um, I've got like six, seven pairs. They, what I like about them, you get like support, you can still move, you yeah. get mobility, and it's even got like that that puncture shield. Am I doing anything wrong with running my shoes? Yeah, no. my running shoes. No. You're comfortable, they move, they fit with what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. What t-shirts. Yeah, t-shirts now. Yeah. I'll because when it comes to carrying a gun, if you can't hide it with a t-shirt, no go. Then it's no good for me. Mm -hmm. Because 90% of what I wear is t-shirts. See, and it's funny because I was I'm actually relieved because I swear to God, I'm sitting here driving to this and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm gonna have to wear some fatty fit. No like button up no because look man i'm a battle cattle right uh -huh. i'm a combat oh. bison oh i'm a i'm a thick boy with two <laughs> c's and um you put me in in most button ups and i look like the opening to a goddamn tunnel uh -huh. yeah and i carry appendix inside waistband so i'm i'm right there um that's my preferred mode of carry and t-shirts just work for it i'm relieved and i feel like we're almost busting like an urban legend yeah. in the concealed handgun community where you need to have like a bunch of fabric draping around here yeah. in order to conceal and it's a handgun, nonsense. but it's not true. And it, not only that, but it it can change your draw stroke. Because I'm used to just being able to lift right. and go. Because it's what you wear and it's yeah. what you've trained with. So, you know, I mean, it's we always hear like train like you fight. Exactly. But, but I mean, if, if this is what you're going to be wearing, I mean, is it really a good idea for me to, to wear a 5'11 shirt if I'm trying to be discreet? Most right? people... Most people aren't paying that close attention. And you're saying even like when you were an undercover or other undercover cops, uh, even criminals we used to do aren't, that all the time. And and they don't the criminals aren't. I thinking can't anything tell of you it. how many times I bought and sold dope wearing a 511 T-shirt. <laughs> on work or, or yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's actually macadamia nuts. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's a time and place for um, a more evolved EDC, sure. right? Um, but street level, walking around, 
5'11 shirts aren't uncommon. Looks I don't good. know that I'd go with the blue line across the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pocket tee. Nobody looks at dudes in pocket tees. They're not like, is that guy carrying a gun under that uh -huh. pocket? So in-call stuff. In-call, out-call. And it has to do with prostitution. So Okay, I'm, I'm really interested. <laughs> so I was incredibly successful as a vice operator. Dude, old guys need hookers too. Exactly. Everybody does. And you know what yeah. else old guys have that young guys don't? What? Money. And the hookers know it. <laughs> They make, a, they make a couple of polos, and it's kind of fitted, kind of sporty, So I, because you, you still are trying to sell yourself, right? Right. And you want to well, have... Or, wait, you were the prostitute. Well, Hold no, on. you I'm too. confused because now. Because prostitutes aren't stupid. But I could wear a polo like that. I could wear those, those chinos, mm -hmm. and I, all day long. I'd get violations all day long. But because... This is the best trip to a 5-Eleven store ever. Just side note, continue. <laughs> I could actually get the violation, which is an agreement for sex for money, in a hotel bar. Dude, I could get Before violated. I, I can get violated in one of these. Before even going up to the room, I'd get a violation. So, um, <laughs> how many, how many, what's your personal best record for how many violations? In a day? Yeah. Four. You know, when you're dressing, when you're dressing correctly for the mission, whether that's just as a vice operator or whether it's just walking around outside, then you can carry the tools you need. That's a, actually a perfect segue for like if I want to kind of up. Not necessarily on body, but like off body. Like I've got some uh, some gear that I need to bring with me. Um, I still want to be discreet, right. but I want to be able to carry some extra goodies. How do yeah. I do that? Well, you know what? We're at the Five Eleven store, and they yeah. have a whole selection. Sure. That was just an easy. Uh, you guys saw where that was going, right? It, you know, it's funny because the anybody who's carrying off body would tell you right off the bat avoid the molly and they're they're making a very low profile bag now oh yeah yeah see i mean this right looks like here. just and something. it looks like something from rei the nice thing is it, they're ccw ready and mm. so i'm not going to go through the whole thing right now but there's going to be there's going to be a hidden pocket in right. it where where you can you know secure a firearm now how do we feel about fanny packs so i'm a big fanny pack guy i understand that's <sighs> And I, I don't want you to do me any favors here. I mean, you know, I would imagine a lot of guys aren't comfortable, you know, carrying. So, when I started a quarter century ago, the fanny packs were still pretty cool. Dude, you had like the mullet, uh, like you had the, no, you had, had the that flat top. Yeah, the, I had flat, the flat, flat top. top. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good look for you. For sure. um, I use fanny pack all the time because I go to the gym. Uh -huh. That, see, for me, that's a big one because like it's I huge. can actually work out and you can throw it down next to a machine if you want to. Like mm -hmm. if you don't want to wear it. So I mean, yeah, for me, like I, everybody always shits on them, but I mean, I, I think that they're actually pretty freaking awesome. They're super awesome. useful. Um, but again, it's like we've been talking, right? It's it's your, your mission's going to drive your gear, and it doesn't look out of place at a gym. Everybody's got fanny packs at a gym. Doesn't look out of place at the beach. Honestly, sling bags. <sighs> I mean, dude, it's certainly, I think this it's is lower be, viz than, than the stuff that has all the, the it, molly and shit all over 100%. it. A hundred percent. But you know what? I mean, just it, tell it's, us it's not your vibe if it's not your vibe, Jeremy. Well, it's I not mean, my it, vibe, but uh -huh. it, it is somebody's vibe. And the thing about it is this, right? If you're going to rock a sling bag, you better look natural wearing a sling bag. That's a good point. That's a good point. If it's awkward for you, if it's weird like it is for probably most dudes, if, then, if, then if, no go. I mean, if I wore this as, as great as a sling bag is, if you saw me like this, you'd be like, that dude's got a gun, but you've got joggers on. Yeah, dude. You've got oh. a good, you got a good-looking pair of tennis shoes, and you got a fitted T-shirt. You could rock this all day long, and nobody's gonna look twice. Yeah. Nobody will look twice. Hundred like, percent. Completely agree with you. Fine. And I guess, I mean, it's time to hit the dressing room and right there. Kind of see what we're. You're gonna come in with me, right? You're gonna help me out. Yeah, yeah. I need some professional well, assistance. Well, somebody, somebody's gotta hold the microphone, right? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't gonna say the microphone. Violations, violations, violations. I'm guessing five to six violations. With this outfit, and you know what's You're funny? A walking violation, James. Dude, <laughs> you know what I love about you, Jeremy, is like basically you validated like this is what I would normally wear. I mean, do I? If I'm walking through most places, don't bullshit me. Am I? Do I look like a cop? Do I look like I'm carrying a gun? Do I look like any no. of that? It's no. just it no. works. You know, the the big five eleven. You know. An argument could be made either way. You know, yo, man, you wear a 5'11 shirt. We're They've all, got you figured out. We're all victims of our perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And the problem is, the inter especially on the internet, everybody's perspective is like this wide. 
you know, okay. it, it, we can transpose it from clothing to guns. And so it's a matter of perspective. And it's the same thing when you're, when you're setting up your EDC. I've got to say, I was, I mentioned this in the beginning, I was skeptical about what we were doing today because I was like, all right, I'm going to be like in a button up. I'm going to look like yeah. an asshole. Like I'm not going to feel comfortable, but, uh, but you know, it's 511 and like 511, yeah, I know. And uh, you know, 511 and like, we worked with these guys for years and this is the stuff. Like I truly wear their stuff yeah. every day, but I thought I was going to be here picking out cargo pants and like button up. So it's cool to hear from somebody who's done it for 25 years at a street level uh, to hear that like what I wear on a, a daily basis pretty much works well. Yep. You know, it feels great, man. Well, there you go. Just like Thanks. having you on the program feels Pleasure. great. Come on. I'm glad we could finally do it. Of course. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more 511.